Okay. <clears throat> so I finally got to set up my uh, Orbonnet Ridge Runner in a proper fashion. You can see bug nets way up out of your face. If uh, you actually attach it up to the tree. See the two green lines running down? So that's what I'm going to use for underside insulation. I have an insulated sleeping pad. This is where the double layer comes in. You don't inflate it fully, maybe about three quarters of the way. And uh, I'll flip this around. I've got this set, you know, a little under waist height. Of, and it, that's the bag that the insulated pad came in. I've just got it stuffed down in the that tiny part of the saddlebag. That's gives you reference for how big these things are. I'm gonna get in here and give you all the how does it feel with the sleeping pad in result. All right. Pad is sliding around a little bit, which is, you know, I kind of expected that. But as I get resituated, it's kind of going with me. We'll see how it affects the lay. All right, yeah, that's. But you can see where it slid over when I was getting in. I might inflate it a little bit more just to kind of get it to stay in place a little better. But, I mean, it's not really a sleeping pad that's meant for hammocks. And I'm very, like, I could sleep right now. Just like this. No pillow. It is pretty hot out here. But yeah, it will very comfortable. Um, and let me see how high it gets the bug net off your face when you've got it hung right. So now I've actually got a properly gap set of trees, I can get it up away from me and actually get comfortable. And I'm really digging this right now. Let's see how sideways it is. So, yeah, this is going to be the way to go. If you want a legit flat lay hammock, I strongly suggest start doing your research on some bridge hammocks because this thing's awesome. I'm going to raise the foot end up a little bit. I feel like it's maybe an inch lower than the head end. I like both to be pretty even on my hammocks. Um, a lot of people do their foot end higher so they don't slide down, but... I'm top heavy enough if I hang it pretty level, I end up sleeping really well. So, a little bit of input in the woods. I'm digging it. This might be my new go to. Okay, so to revise that a little bit and give you a finished opinion, because apparently my phone didn't save when I recorded my. <laughs> the next morning the thing is amazing there's no like i've been sleeping in gathering hammocks for five years now it's i'm not gonna down dream hammock because i love mine and it is <clears throat> god it's a fantastic hammock I, I love the thing um and i'll could still sleep in it whenever but for me, I have a problem with in my sleep, I try to push the hammock wider with my legs. So I get calf cramps in the middle of the night because I don't, I've got crappy leg circulation anyways. It's, I jacked up my back some years back and ever since then I've, I've had pretty jacked up legs uh, or leg circulation. I don't know how that correlates, but it's, it's a thing. Um, but I did figure out on the, the war bonnet i do have to hang my foot end about two inches higher i think i ended up going about two inches higher because i did actually slide down because of how it's made um so i, f I figured out you get the foot end about two three inches higher than the head end and you, you stay put the first night i was sliding down some so i kept having to readjust well i'm sure enough that once i slide down when my feet are hitting the end 
I've got shoulder squeeze because it's it's tapered down like you know top ends wide and it comes down to narrower I was getting some shoulder squeeze because I was sliding down and I once I fixed where the sliding down issue I slipped like a baby like I don't even know how to describe it. I'm I'm trying to figure out how to set the thing up in the house. We'll just we'll we'll put it that way. So, uh, just to give you all a little bit of like my trial and error because this is a learning experience for me. It's it's like a few of the other things get going on right now. I I still got to upload. Um, I may not upload it. I seasoned my blackstone, and <laughs> you can tell it was my first time seasoning one. Um, it didn't go very smooth. They the the seasoning turned out great. Um, but it looks really good. I cooked on it tonight. Actually, I did some hibachi at the house tonight. Um, I'll throw a picture of that in here just for. I made homemade yum yum sauce. And uh, which is the yellow sauce they have at the hibachi restaurants, and then I did uh, teriyaki chicken and steak, and I did um, fried rice with some broccoli, onions, and uh, scrambled an egg, chunked it up, and threw it in there. And yeah, it it turned out good. I like the thing so far. We'll see, we'll see, but I just want to thank you guys for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video or any of the others you watch, you know, just you ain't got to subscribe. If you don't, I'm not going to beg you to subscribe, but if if you would give it a thumbs up, it, do, it does help the channel. It helps me get my media out there where, where you know, people could see it. Um, it's weird. The, the YouTube algorithms don't make sense to me. I'm like, I search is something it should pop up but apparently if they doesn't have a bunch of thumbs up it doesn't pop up it's like real low in the thing but I appreciate all you guys that have been watching because my views have views and subscriptions are up and I, I want to thank you guys for that um I've been in the green on that the last few months so uh I know this video went way off topic but I want I wanted to thank y'all and if it keeps going like that, I'm thinking next spring I'm I'm gonna plan a subscriber trip where if some of y'all who watch the channel want to go go on a trip with me, I'm I'm gonna make it happen and figure out how to get y'all out there, even if you don't have kayaks and stuff, because I've got enough extra gear at this point where I can pretty much I got a kayak to cover an extra person. I don't know about that. All the other stuff I can cover three people, but uh, if it if it keeps on like this, I'm I'm seeing it happening. I might do something to see about if if anybody wants to go on a subscriber trip, and we'll get it together, and I'll I'll figure out a good. I'm willing to travel, so I'll figure out like where everybody is, and I'll come to that area, and we'll figure something out. And, that way y'all don't have to drive hours and hours out of your, your way, you know. Um, so we, we'll get it together. But uh, it's crazy to me how the channel's growing. It, it's not it's not a big channel, but just seeing it and I'm like, people want to watch me. You know, it. I appreciate it. I really do. So y'all have a good night or whenever you're watching this. It's probably not going to be a night because... I'm going to upload it tonight. you probably watch it tomorrow at like lunch or something on your lunch break. Um, if so, have a good lunch break. And I hope you had a good uh, Labor Day weekend. And everybody was safe. So, you guys have a good one.